Hi, today we are going to discuss the de Broglie's wavelength. As we know, light has dual nature. At times light behaves as particles and at times the light behaves as waves. To explain the phenomena of light like interference, diffraction, polarization, it behaves as waves. And to explain the phenomenon of light like uh, reflection and refraction, light behaves as particles. De Broglie argued that why can't the elementary particles like electrons, protons and neutrons also have dual nature. The waves associated with the moving particles are known as matter waves and the wavelength is known as the De Broglie wavelength. As we know, the energy of photon is h in u or as you know e is equal to h c by lambda according to einstein mass energy relation e is equal to m c square when you equate these two m c square is equal to h c by lambda or you know that lambda is equal to h by m c this lambda is known as de Broglie wavelength and H is the Planck's constant, M is the mass of photon and C is the speed of light in the air. As you know, the Planck's constant H is 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 J s, joules second. Now, if the same instead of photon, if a particle of mass m moving with the velocity v, then the de Broglie wavelength becomes lambda is equal to h by m v, where lambda is the de Broglie wavelength, h is the Planck's constant, m is the mass of the particle and v is the velocity. Now let us discuss the different forms of de Broglie wavelength. Number one, as you know, lambda is equal to h by p, lambda is equal to h by mc, lambda is equal to h by mv. In case of particle of mass m having velocity v, the relation between linear momentum and kinetic energy, k is equal to p square by 2m, where k is the kinetic energy, P is the linear momentum which is nothing but the product of mass and velocity and you can say that P is equal to under root 2m k. In some books they write it as 2m e k. e k or k stands for the kinetic energy of the particle. Now instead of lambda is equal to h by P you can write lambda is equal to h by under root 2m e k. When a particle of mass m having charge q starting from rest and accelerated under a potential difference of v volt, then as you know <coughs> ke is equal to q into v where q is the charge and v is the potential difference. So ke is equal to qv. So in place of ke or ek, you can substitute charge into v. v is nothing but pd is nothing but potential difference, potential difference. So in place of ek, we can write lambda is equal to h by under root 2m q v where lambda is the de Broglie wavelength h is the Planck's constant m is the mass of the charged particle q is the charge on that particle and v is the potential difference in this video we have learned the different forms of de Broglie wavelength as we know Lambda is equal to h by p, where h is the Planck's constant, p is the linear momentum, and Planck's constant is 6.625 to 10 to the power of minus 34 j s, and linear momentum is the product of 
mass and velocity. Next, lambda is equal to h by m c, where m is the mass of a photon and c is the speed of light because all the photons travel with the speed of light, which is nothing but 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. In case of a charged particle having mass m and moving with a velocity v, lambda is equal to h by m v. And we already discussed lambda is equal to h by under root 2 m e k by establishing a relation between the kinetic energy and the linear momentum. And lambda is equal to h by under root 2 m q v, where h is the Planck's constant, m is the mass of the charged particle, q is the charge of that particle, and v is the potential difference. All the students have to keep in mind that here V stands for velocity and here V stands for the potential difference. In case of electron, we know that the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg and the charge on electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb. To save the time, directly by substituting all the constant values, we can directly say that in case of electron, lambda is equal to 12.27 under root V angstrom. 12.27 under root V. Here V is the potential difference. Angstrom is the unit of wavelength. As you know, one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. In case of proton which is positively charged particle lambda is equal to 0 0.286 v angstrom in case of alpha particle lambda is equal to 0 0.101 under v that is v is the potential difference angstrom so in this uh, shortcut method Directly we can substitute the value of potential difference and we can get the lambda in angstrom. Now let us look at this example. In the problem, the proton and alpha particle are accelerated through same potential difference. As we know, lambda is equal to h by under root 2 m q v where h is the Planck's constant and m is the mass of the charged particle, q is charge and v is the potential difference. In the given problem, the proton and alpha particle are being accelerated under the same potential difference Pd. That means here 2 is constant, v is also constant, lambda, we can write it as lambda is proportional to under root 1 by 1 by under root m q. You can say that lambda into under root m q is equal to constant. Now, for proton, lambda p under root mass of proton and charge on proton. For alpha particle, lambda alpha under root m alpha and q alpha, where m alpha is the mass of alpha particle and charge on alpha particle. Mass of alpha particle is four times the mass of proton and charge on alpha particle is twice the charge on proton or electron. So now we substitute the values under root mass of alpha particle is nearly four times the mass of proton 4 mp and charge on alpha particle is twice the charge on proton or electron by mp qp this get cancelled now we have under root 8 is nothing but 2 under root 2 therefore lambda p is to lambda alpha is nothing but 2 root 2 is to 1 that's the question asked 